I skipped last week because it was Thanksgiving on Thursday, and so we're here uh, together. I'd like to do a short video, and I'm terrible at doing that, but I'm just going to try. Music as self-care. We talk over and over and over again in this 21st century American culture about self-care this and self-care that. And I'm not going to prescribe anything to you for self-care because I don't know what that means to you. I don't even know what it means to me. Uh, so for me, self-care and listening, like deep listening, are one and the same. Um, everybody talks about different self-care rituals, but I, th I think that uh, at the heart of, of care is just listening, whether you're caring for yourself or you're caring for someone else. And my cats complain enough yelling at the bottom of the stairwell. Um, I recognize they might be out of water downstairs. So I might need to scoop their box, you know, something. There's something that they're communicating and me ignoring it because I'm annoyed that they're yelling doesn't isn't helping them. Right. So I care enough to to just open my ears and listen and consider what does this cry mean? And for me, with nine months now of, of, of a lot of open time and, and not being able to um, reach for that catharsis that I get to experience in, in normal times to perform this uh, completely improvised music for you guys, uh, that like my biggest self care for the last ten years has just been doing that as much as I can because it's so like it's like a healing process of connecting with my body, connecting with my ears, connecting with my instrument, connecting in a room with other people and the acoustics and the listeners. Wow, it's just like this incredible experience. I don't get to do all that right now with this pandemic thing happening, and it it sucks. I'll just say it, it sucks. But many of those aspects of that are actually all still available to me. And that means they're still available to you if you're watching this and healthy and safe and all of that right now. So I'm going to wrap this up, this talk up to say this. My point in music is self-care is this. If listening within to locate the parts of ourselves that are looking for attention, and they could be the parts that are like just reminding us, hey, be happy about this. Or it could be the, the parts that are saying, hey, you need to address this. Either way, if care for ourselves is listening within and answering that call in some way, then I'm positing for you and for me that a really big, deep, beautiful aspect of music right now in 2020 for us who are kind of stuck at home as a mode of self-care is to bring that listening within sensation into your practice. For me, it's been making the whole practice session every time I pick the instrument up, 100% focused on that. So last, uh, last video, episode four, called Filling the Well, I talked about a three-step orientation of setting an intention, going through a process of work, and then getting a result at the end. And I highlighted that, that the best part of this for me is setting an intention where I'm just creating uh, a space in which a result can occur and just putting my attention completely toward the in the moment nature of that process. And then the results end up being better than when I'm just trying to nail a certain result and doing whatever I have to to grasp at it. That's what I'm calling music as self-care. So my... Uh, invitation. I don't want to say recommendation. That's what wanted to come out. Uh, what I'm inviting you to do is to consider uh, nurturing yourself, nurturing that part of you that is music, not the part of you that makes music, the part of you that is music. Or if you're not a musician, the part of you that is painting, or the part of you that is running, the part of you that is designing whatever it is that you do that you it's an activity it's a thing that you do being musicians make music if you can address that creative center that uh that's connected with some sort of a craft some sort of an art um listen to what it wants from you and give it what it wants and right now 
without competitions and all of these external things, whatever it is, with you know the things that we feel like we need to hit a certain mark of world class on in order to be satisfying the expectations of us from somebody else, those are mostly dissolved for now. We've got a free pass on some level right now. On one hand, we feel tremendous pressure to be very, very, very productive in the course of all this. Beneath that, the deeper level, beneath the urge, the need to be productive, is a deeper urge and a deeper, real, genuine need um, crying out for nurturing, for nourishment. Um, So bring yourself to your instrument Bring yourself to the thing that you love to do and ask within what is it looking for. It's looking for a physical connection. It's looking for a, 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 uh, an, a connection based on just putting your attention 100% on and listening to it, listening to the music, listening to your body, listening to the space um, without worrying about hitting some mark or accomplishing something or making a video for people to look at on YouTube or whatever, just bring yourself into the creative space, into the environment, and just be there because it nurtures your best part of yourself and it nourishes the parts of you that need a a healing ointment in the course of all the craziness that's going on right now. That is more than enough. Um, And if you can carry that past this crazy time into the next aspects of your life when you've got deadlines and all that again you're going to be even you're going to always perform better you're always going to do the thing you do better when it's coming from this perspective of of um providing nourishment to the parts of you that are the most important the success thing is just that's a result that may or may not happen it may or may not be in your control but um Living the process of being creative, that is 100% within your control. And all it asks is for your attention and your, um, and your understanding and that you listen and that you care. And I think that anybody who might be watching this, all of those things come naturally to you anyway. So give yourself permission to do that. And I think you're going to be happier. I know it's making me happier. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, As always, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll put my email address down below. Check out baltimoresaxophone.com for information on lessons and concert series for the future and whatever. All the stuff that it is that I'm up to is there at baltimoresaxophone.com. I will catch you next Thursday. Thanks for your attention. We'll see you soon.